friends, get excited. This is gonna be one of those vlogs that you are gonna to wanna to get your paint pants on for. Ooh. I want you to meet my buddy today. I have an assistant on the job. How are you? How are you? Oh, you're such a happy little greeter. So friends, I am here today at the home of my clients. Behind me, you can see lots of plastic. Well, I have to tell you, lots of plastic shows where lots of activity has been because this kitchen has been transformed. They recently had their cupboards painted white. Look at those beautiful white cabinets. Can you see through all the plastic right there? And they did beautiful gray walls and they have a new backsplash in place as well. How beautiful is this? When you are looking at this area and down, you've got beautiful blacks and grays and white going down. But the moment that you actually go up, very orangey, yellowy wood. So plastic has been put around this entire room just waiting for us to come in and to do a makeover to the top. It's really easy and on this vlog I'm going to show you guys how you too can do the same steps that I'm doing to make your beams, your wooden beams, no matter what color they are, look like dark wood. Or you can do this tutorial for that matter on any surface that you like. Somebody left us fresh coffee and a beautiful note. How sweet is that? Right over here, the coffee pot is actually sitting on what was our sample boards. It's, oh, this is such a nice warm coffee pot. <gasps> I'm gonna be having some coffee just in a moment. It is so wonderful to work for good people who take the time to do such nice things for you. So this is the sample board that I prepared for my clients to take a look at. I encourage you guys, if you guys are out there flipping furniture for profit, offering your services, it's always good to have a visual because I would not want to paint this and, and my clients be unhappy or be like oh boy that's not what we envisioned right so right here I did a few different samples do you see how this has a brown and a black sort of look to it right here we are gonna go ahead with a darker beam look and stay to this side right here so let's knock it out and I'll show you the steps on how to do it and I look out here are you ready to go buddy yeah are we ready to get this paint job going I think I'm gonna go ahead and start in this back corner and work my way over. This does not have to be a long process, guys. So I've got my black velvet here. I've got two cans with me from my stash. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stir this up. The nice thing is with Junk Monkey, I don't have to prime or sand or strip. So even though those beams are varnished, they have some sort of a polyurethane over the top of them. I can see it from here, a bit of a sheen. I don't have to worry about this. I'm just gonna go ahead, stir it up really, really well and begin the brush on part, okay? So my base I'm starting with is again, a color called Black Velvet from our Junk Monkey Chalky Paint line. My goal today, just to give you guys a close up view, is to take a shabby chip brush and lay down a nice base of the black velvet. So I'm dipping my brush right now off to the side into it. And I'm not gonna give complete coverage. This is one of the reasons why I love using this brush is because the bristles are so hard that it really doesn't cover things up completely. So we're gonna do a nice brush of the black velvet all over, but at the same time, allowing some peekaboos just like this to come through the beams as we go. So not complete coverage is our goal. We are at the very last piece right here. Almost done, I stand back here. This is gonna be the very first coat of our black velvet. Look how much it just really opens up this space right here. So again, we put this on in a very rustic shabby flare because we're gonna go with a second coat in just a bit, but already, oh my gosh, what a difference it makes to this space to get rid of that look up there. in a client's uh, house today I just finished the last little bit of covering up on the ceiling of what was a an honey oak color do you see that color back right there so sweet he look is. at him oh, hey he's a baby. Spike what do you think what do you think oh he's yawning is that a good thing yeah. does this kitchen make you feel relaxed Spike you like it do you like the bees yes okay he's totally a shoulder dog oh That's my shoulder. gosh Matt this is distracting. I gotta get painting, and now this dog is. Yeah, cute. So cute. 
All right, so let's get it, get ready for the second step. Now we're gonna go ahead and reach for our Minwax in the color Mission Oak. All right, guys, we're gonna pop this open. This actually has the sheen on it of gloss. The sheen that's on it will fit really nice with this kitchen of how it's been remodeled with the grays, the classy, the sophisticated, the high end, the beautiful marbled subway tile. tile. So definitely gloss for this project, but you guys know that you can uh, go with whatever you like. All right, let's stir it up because just like any product, just even like your peanut butter when it sits for a very long time um, the heavier ingredients can go to the bottom and especially when you're using your sealer or your paint you want it to make sure that it's working the way it should even doing this make sure that all the color pigments are through it correctly so if you ever start at painting with a can of stain and then all of a sudden something in one part looks darker than the other part it's because you probably didn't stir it well so you get more of a concentration of pigments as you get to the bottom and it can get stickier so we want to make sure it's just a good consistency so I went and got my own mug. I really didn't want to go through their cupboards looking for a mug. This is one of my favorite coffee mugs. It says, me crazy? I should get down off this unicorn and slap you. All right, so let me, get, let me give you guys a quick crash course here before I go up back on the ladder again. So let's just do a quick close up for those of you who will be going ahead and doing your own beams or doing this effect on different surfaces. So remember, we just went ahead and did the beams like this. We're gonna grab for another shabby chip brush. We're gonna go ahead and put it in to our min wax. Get a lot off the edge. You don't need a ton. This stuff, I will tell you, the Junk Monkey paint is thick and you really don't have a lot of paint flinging around when you do, uh, when you paint over your head. But this stuff is definitely runny and so you have to like keep it nice and light. All right, and now what we're doing is we're just putting a layer of this over our black. And do you start to see how you get, this is still wet right now, but do you start to see how you get a brown but also a black look? You can do full coverage and put this on top of it if you want, or like I said, make them more rustic by doing some skips in your black velvet. Friends, this is turning out fabulous. I'll bring you up there in the corner with me so you can get a really good close up view. Okay, so you see the difference right here? This is the flat matte paint right here. This is the part that I've gone over. Do you see how beautiful that wood green looks? Now what we're doing is we're going over the top, but we're gonna pull it with the green. Pull it forward and do you see the beautiful trail it leads? Just make sure that you do not put it on thick because this stuff will just gloop up and run down off your beams. Absolutely gorgeous. Watch what happens when I paint this part. All right guys, I am done. Whew. Did I work up a storm? Who says that when you reach for the stars or the ceiling or you paint furniture that it is not a workout? I have worked up some hunger and I'm gonna find myself something to eat. But first, I'm gonna share with you guys what the ceiling looks like. This is a gorgeous look. This is one of those tutorials that you can do for other people. People will pay you to do this look, especially in this time that we live in where everybody wants that beautiful, dark, beam, burn, beamish sort of look. velvet down to be a layer. It sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. We built upon that. And I'll show you how you can get different looks in just a second, but this is how you will get a beautiful barn wood black, but yet it's still a little bit warm. Do you see some of the warmth coming through? That is why we used our shabby chip brush to really not give us full coverage, right? We manipulated it and we did a faux finished effect on the ceiling. Can't wait to see it with the plastic down. That is gonna be beautiful. What a difference. That Minwax poly shades that we put on it, it has, it's a stain and a sealer all in one. So I do not have to seal this piece. It's actually all done. Now I told you guys that you can get different looks as well. Honestly, the difference in the looks is gonna come down to what color of the Junk Monkey Paint Chucky style you use. So, we I just showed you that we just did the black right here, right? We did the black velvet. You can see the base right here. We put an overcoat on it of that Mission Oak, and that is how we got these beautiful barn beams that you see right now in this kitchen, except I skipped a few more pieces with my shabby chip brush to allow it to be more of a rustic look. Now, if I were to put candy bar brown underneath, it 
do you see how it turns a little bit more of a brown color? Do you see that there compared to that? So same color, Mission Oak, but it's on top of the Candy Bar Brown Junk Monkey paint. And that brown underneath it, it just mellows it out just a little bit more and it keeps it more towards the brown end, that warm brown end. And then this right here, this is just straight, the poly shade straight over that oak. Remember the oak piece right here. And one more added bonus down here, you can also combine your black and brown for your under layer and then put your Mission Oak on top of it and it just gives you another really interesting look. So pick the one that's gonna fit your decor and the one that you like best, of course. I am calling this a success. I cannot wait for my clients to come home from work to check this out. On tomorrow's vlog, I'll put up some finished photos of this so you guys can see it. So tomorrow, we will have the after pictures of this beautiful space. Say it with me, the power of paint. Thank you so much for subscribing to my vlog. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Did you positively love this transformation as much as me? And does it give you some ideas? Maybe you wanna do this look on the top of a table or the top of some end tables or a dresser or on your, on your beams or maybe on some wood pieces that you have around your house. Play with it, have fun with it. And speaking of fun, we will have more fun here on the vlog again tomorrow. Take care, see you then, bye.